Hey guys, it's Dr. Jenny with Nature Matters Academy, and today we're going to be talking about the differences between fruits and vegetables. So if any of you guys know me, you know that I always love to start with a question. So let's pull that up. So our question is, is a tomato really a vegetable? We call it a vegetable. We cook with it like a vegetable. On the food pyramid, it's a vegetable. But according to science and botanists, are tomatoes really vegetables? So let's go through a few other examples. All right, peach, is that a fruit or a vegetable? What about a carrot? How about a yam or a sweet potato? What about broccoli? Broccoli is actually pretty hard, in my opinion. Is it a fruit or is it a vegetable? What about beans? How about ginger root or even a walnut? So if any of you guys um, have gone through a food pyramid, it's pretty clear. All of your fruits are considered sweet and all of your vegetables are considered savory. And food pyramids, um, the people who kind of abide by those definitions of fruits and vegetables are gonna be people like nutritionists and chefs and cooks. So it is different in the scientific world as, um, on the side of botany. We define things in a very certain way. Oh, there's corn, forgot about corn. So fruits form from the flower of the plant and contain seeds. So here's the definition that is the definition that I was taught as a little kid. My dad is an ag guy. So I learned very early the difference between fruits and vegetables from a botanist stand standpoint. But if you eat the seeds or the structure that contains the seeds, then it's a fruit, all right? Vegetables are gonna be any other edible part of the plant. So not the flower. Um, but if you eat the stem, the leaves, the roots, all of those are considered vegetables. So like I said, in the food pyramid, we tend to group things by sweet and savory. But when you look at fruits and vegetables at a botanist standpoint, you'll notice that not all fruits are sweet. Think about an avocado. Avocado is a structure that contains the seed. Therefore, it makes it a fruit by def definition, but it's savory and we typically group it with vegetables. Think about a beet. Beets are very, very sweet, but you're eating the root of the plant. And um, because of that, uh, you would assume that it is, um, it's a vegetable, right? But it's sweet instead of savory. So you kind of have to walk away from those definitions of sweet versus savory. According to science, according to botanists, fruits are if you eat the seed or the structure that contains the seed. Vegetables are everything else, stems, roots, and leaves. All right, so why have we been calling tomatoes vegetables all of our lives when they're actually fruits. So I'm gonna read a fun story for you really quick. In 1893, the United States Supreme Court ruled that an imported tomato should be taxed as a vegetable, not as a fruit. Because fruits were less taxed and they wanted to get more taxes on these imported tomatoes. The court agreed that a tomato was botanically a fruit. So they agreed on the actual definition of a fruit and that tomato fit that definition. However, they made their ruling according to the kitchen definition of, um, of a tomato, which it's used as a vegetable. And this case was called Nix versus Hedden. Like I said, this was in the late 1800s. So this is a question and an argument that's been happening for a long, long time. Oh, is it a fruit or is it a vegetable? So botanically speaking, it is a fruit because you eat the structure that contains the seeds. You also eat the seeds, right? But from a nutritionist or a chef's standpoint, then they're going to call it a vegetable because it's savory. All right, so let's go through those examples that we went through at the beginning. A peach. Peach is actually a fruit, and the type is called a droop. So for those of you guys who are in Nature Matters Academy, this is a... Um, this goes through your lesson and I'm talking about specific types of fruit here. So if you refer back to your lesson, you'll see a full definition of what a droop is and you'll see lots of other examples. If you're not part of Nature Matters Academy and you would like to be, visit naturemattersacademy.com and um, we have all kinds of great lessons about nature and we're all about getting outside and getting our kids practicing STEM skills while having a lot of fun and learning something new. All right, so let's go through the rest of these that we went through in the beginning. As you know, carrots are vegetables. They're a root. Yams are vegetables. They're a tuber. Broccoli is actually a vegetable because you're eating the stem and the leaf and the bud. 
So really on a broccoli right here, all of these little things, these florets, they're tiny, tiny flowers. They're little flower buds, but they haven't flowered yet, which means they haven't been pollinated yet. So because you're not eating the pollinated version of a flower, which is a seed, then it's considered a vegetable. All right, beans are considered a fruit. They are legumes. Ginger root is considered a specific type of vegetable called a rhizome. And walnuts are considered to be fruits. And the type of fruit that they are are nuts. So I hope that um, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And um, I wanted to make it quick and easy and fun for you guys. So I hope you had a good time and learned something new. All right, bye.